Hello everyone, welcome to Wayne's Talk and it's about 7 o'clock or so p.m. in the UK and I'm here for quite a few days but I'm still trying to organize my things and tidy my floods and I've got a lot of clutter here I still suffer from the jet lag time difference as well but as long as I've come to UK I'll gradually bring something new to you guys apart from teaching English I'll share with you my first hand studying living experience and uh, unique features that have to do with the British culture, the British lifestyle, and something like this. So this week we're gonna start with, uh, let's talk about the British food, as you can see I'm eating. Yeah, the British food is very renowned, isn't it? 各位,我到英国已经一段时间了,有几天了,一直忙忙碌碌的倒时差呀,这个整顿啊,这个收拾东西。所以从这一期开始呢是有名的黑暗料理我们在深居古爱的人啊，旅居古爱的人，其实你对故乡的思念有一大半，其实来自于你对故乡饮食文化的眷恋，故乡美食的眷恋。所以有人说嘛，你身上最思乡的部位不是你的心，其实是你的
所以这个人脑子有问题啊。所以当时八个司马姓的大王已经把朝政搅得一锅粥啊。从公元二百九十一年开始，长达十六年的八王之乱啊，人脑子打成狗脑子。所以其实当时之所以张翰能激流勇退，有一个重要的原因就是他看出了齐王司马炯狼子野心，昭然若揭，再跟着他混下去没有什么好的结果。所以实际上是一种进退有度啊，闪转腾挪的政治智慧。不仅仅是为了吃口饭啊，所以这叫“红未至，先渊公；兔以亡，在乎犬”，并非当机作用啊。风停时休起浪，暗道处便离船，才是疗手功夫。所以张翰呢，纯儒之思，绝不仅仅是为了吃家乡的饭，它里面有高超的政治智慧。所以后来辛弃疾啊，有一首词就说张翰嘛、啊，《水龙吟》，我记得叫，呃呃，晋西风，寄英归位啊，求田未舍，怕英修建，留洋才气。这个季英就是张翰的字嘛，张翰字季英，所以辛弃疾对他这样激流勇退的政治智慧也是赞赏有加。啊，扯远了，这是我们说的纯儒之思啊。当然，我觉得啊，你看中国人呀、啊，寄托对故乡的思念，有一首很有名的诗，哇，大家都知道，王维的诗啊，叫《红豆生南国，春来发几枝》，劝君多采撷，此物最相思啊。这首诗叫《相思》，所以啊，那到了英国呢。我也就和着这首诗啊，即兴写一首诗啊，跟这差不多啊。英国没有红豆了，英国有土豆。你看，英国有土豆，没有红豆有土豆。我也写一首诗啊，叫《土豆生英国》，秋来发几枝，劝君多吃点，炒盘土豆丝<笑>好了，各位，这一期我就讲到这儿。See you next week. Thank you for listening.